Hi guys, it's Sis on the phone and today I'm uh, here with the t uh, team from Tallinn and, uh, with their beautiful car. But I've learned that they uh, have some special sensors, uh, especially in uh, self-development. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your sensor and um, yeah, which kind of sensor is it? Okay. First, the, uh, the sensor which we have self-developed and which we are uh, really proud of uh, is uh, the ground speed sensor, uh, which takes uh, two pictures uh, of the ground and compares them uh, to get the ground velocity compared to our car. Okay, so this uh, seems to be very and a very easy task if you just say, okay, just two pictures and then uh, compare, but uh, sensors from the industry are extremely expensive. Yes. So uh, why is that so uh, hard to uh, do? Uh, well, firstly, uh, this concept, uh, which uh, we have tried also a uh, Doppler radar, radar based system, but that didn't really work out uh, really well. Um, plus, uh, and after that, uh, we moved on to the, the, the camera-based system. And to be honest, we've been working on it uh, for the last four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the past two years, it uh, are the first years uh, which uh, has actually worked well. So it's not a one year in development process. Okay, so uh, you are four years uh, in development right now? So, uh, um, the ground speed sensor, yes, but our team has existed for 15 years already. Ah, okay, so um, your car is, uh, in, I mean, the 15th generation yes. right now? Really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, the, the sensor is the fourth uh, gen uh, generation or the fourth yes. year. Okay, so um, the ground sensor, you are comparing uh, two pictures to each other. Is it, uh, can you, uh, uh, is it possible to say it's like uh, a big computer mouse? Uh, uh, yes, uh, the sensor requires the strongest computer uh, in uh, in the whole of the car. Okay, uh, can you show me uh, where your sensor is located? Uh, uh, I can show you on the picture over there. Okay. Uh, the sensor uh, itself is located over here. Okay. Uh, which with the ah. camera and this camera has a smaller computer which uh, talks to a bigger computer which is uh, placed over here okay yeah. so um, so this sensor uh, how, how does this sensor work is, uh, um, well it it takes two pictures I first uh, uh, it looks at the first picture cuts uh, a small slice of it and then it then starts uh, comparing the slice uh, to other uh, to the other picture and when it finds a match, uh, it, uh, it can calculate uh, the distance between those two points. Okay, so the, um, the uh, time is also um, well known between these two pictures, so... Uh, uh, the yes, it's fixed. It's fixed. It, uh, they take two pictures, uh, one millisecond apart. But uh, this works uh, continuously? Uh, yes. So yes. Uh, when you start up the car, it uh, starts working right away and it only stops when you turn off the car. You develop your se uh, sensor and is it already in a perfect shape or do you need to...? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, there are two major problems with it. Uh, one is it has a... Since the computation is really complex, uh, it takes... Uh, uh, the data when it was measured and when it was actually when it's actually usable is about 40 milliseconds, which is quite a lot. Uh, we we can compensate it uh, with uh, other sensors and using sensor fusion, uh, which we do. And also, when sunlight directly hits, uh, when sunlight gets directly under the car and gets in the pictures, it uh, kind of, it it dies out. It gives out uh, funky values. But it, okay. but it can detect that and we can compensate uh, for a short while, about up to two seconds about uh, against that as well. Okay, so um, yeah, that uh, sounds, sounds really uh, interesting. So um, you developed your uh, sensor, um, you can uh, run it um, on your uh, vehicle dynamics uh, yes. control system. Um, do you have uh, maybe a number on uh, how much performance you gain uh, through using this sensor? Like I can't give out an exact number, uh, but it allowed us to use uh, quite more complex uh, vehicle estimations. Mostly. Okay, so um, okay, if it, uh, even if there are no numbers, uh, 
available, you still can say it, uh, it is an, av an advantage. Yes, of course. Okay, so. <laughs> And I guess uh, it's also a big advantage uh, when it comes uh, through engineering design uh, report. Ah uh, yes, of course. Uh, almost every report uh, explicitly measures how cool they have a self-developed ground speed sensor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, the first time I've heard that uh, someone is uh, developing such a sensor by themselves. So it's a really uh, great achievement, uh, I must, uh, must say, um, to to have uh, such a system uh, built into your car. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so uh, but um, you you need to, uh, to have a camera, obviously, to take the picture, and then um, you have also a light, I guess. Uh, uh, yes, uh, LED lights. Uh, currently, the accumulator is not inside the car, so I can't show it really. Yeah, it has LED lights plus uh, four lasers as well for height measurement. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's uh, that's it because I mean, yeah, you, you, you told us everything uh, that there's a camera, the light, uh, how it works. Um, yeah. So um, I guess there's nothing more to say than uh, thank you, thank you very much uh, for the video, and yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video as well and. Um, if you like that I made a video in English, so then maybe uh, leave a like and um, or a comment, and then uh, maybe we will get more uh, in the future. It's up to you. So see you. Bye bye.